Hey guys, ViscoseComb24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to build this. It is my compact 6x6 cave door. As you can see, it all closes. I made it both full flush and did not give it a backside to keep it as compact as possible. When I go back on over to the front and flick the lever again, you can see it all opens. It's relatively quick, I'm pretty happy with the speed. This thing is 12 blocks wide, 12 blocks tall, and 5 blocks deep, so it has a volume of 720 blocks. This is the smallest 6x6 cave door I've ever been able to make, pretty happy with the size. I tried to keep it cheap, so it doesn't use very many observers, and the wiring is rather simple. And another fun quirk is that because this is a full flush 6x6 cave door, if you remove the corner pistons, it can also be a 6x6 vault cave door if you want it to. So yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So to get started on this door, you're going to want to start with two blocks, then put two blocks to either side, just like so. Put two temporary blocks there and there, and then use this to position six sticky pistons facing up, just like so. There we are. Once you've done that, you can remove your temporary blocks. Put two more here, and then use these to position your double piston extenders. Now you can build your floor back four blocks. There we are, and break out these two temporary blocks. For your input, you can have a block there or there, and in the other block spot, put a piston facing up. Put your lever on the block and put and turn it to on. Put torches, four total, all along the outside like that. Then get out a redstone block, sticky piston, redstone block, then get out a piston, Face it towards the back of the door, right next to that redstone block. Torch, total of four blocks, three dust, and then a two tick repeater right there. Put two blocks down here, and then a block up. Then two blocks down there, and then a block up. Put a torch on the side of that block, two dust, two dust, and then a torch on the side of this block. This is for the extension of this double piston extender. You can now mirror everything to the other side, so get out a sticky piston. Sticky piston, redstone block, piston facing towards the back of the door, torch, total of four blocks, three dust, and then a two tick repeater. Put two blocks down and a block up, then you can start over there, block up there, and then two blocks down. Dust there and there, torch, and then dust there and there, with the torch right there. I'm going to go back on over to the front and flick the lever. You can see that all your, all your extenders push up, and when you flick it once more, you will have the first retraction. To get in the full retraction, put observer there and there, two blocks, and then a two tick repeater. Do the same thing over on this side, two blocks, and then a two tick repeater. And when you flick the lever, you can now see that you have the full retraction as well. And that's it for the bottom. Now onto the sides. Go over to this torch, place a block, block up, get out another torch, and then put a block right, or a torch right there block, another block, and then a torch. That's all you want to do over there for now. Put a piston there, temporary block, and then three pistons. Break out the temporary block, then another temporary block, and three more pistons, just like so. Break out the temporary block. And then you can put a piston right there, and then a total of ten blocks covering them up. There we are. Get out a lamp, put a lamp right there, dust, block right there, Two more dust, two glass blocks, and then a total of four dust, just like so. Once you've got that, go over to your lamp, get an observer, an observer faced into a sticky piston facing up with another observer. Put down a total of three sticky pistons, three slime, three obsidian, then three blocks. Get out your obsidian again and put down another five, wrapping around the slime just like so. And then you can fill in those blocks, piston there and there, and then finish off your wall. Now that you've got that, get out a torch, torch there, piston, torch, piston, torch, block right there, then get out your dust, put a torch on that block, dust on that obsidian, block up, and then an observer facing down right here with a four tick repeater coming out of that block on its face. Go down here, have a block faced up, or an observer faced up, right there into that block. Glass, 
with dust on it, and glass right there, and two three tick repeaters coming out of that block. Then have an observer facing up into that piston, and I believe that is your entire side all wired. As you can see, your triple piston extender goes, corner pops out, and the other pistons extend. Click it once more, it all retracts. To get this piston to pull its block down, remove that, put an observer, and then replace the piston. And then to get this piston to pull the other piston in, put an observer facing down right there. Might be a little awkward to place. And now your side is finished. Now to copy it over. Get out your lamp, put a lamp right there, dust, and now your layout. Two sticky pistons, temporary block, and then three sticky pistons, break out the block. Temporary block, and then another three sticky pistons, break out the block. And then ten blocks to cover them up. Put a block right there, dust on it, get out your glass, put glass, glass, and then a total of five dust all along there. Once you've got that, go down here, observer, face into a sticky piston facing up, with an observer facing up on its face three sticky pistons, and then your three slime, three obsidian, three blocks, and then five more obsidian wrapping around where the slime is going to pass by, just like so. Piston there and there, and now you can finish off your wall. There we are. Get out glass, dust, and torches. Put a torch, piston, torch, piston, torch, block, torch, dust on that obsidian, block right there, and then an observer facing down with a four tick repeater on its face, just like so. Break out this piston, place an observer right there, and then replace it, and then break out this block and place an observer facing down right there. Replace it, and then remember to put the dust back on top of it. Go in here, put an observer facing up into that block, glass blocks there and there, dust on that one, and then two three tick repeaters coming out from that block, and an observer facing up, detecting them. Let's see. There we are. And I believe, give your lever a flick, you now have both your sides in. There we are. Now on to the top. To get started on the top, place a block there, two blocks up, leave that as a temporary block, and then position two sticky pistons, two temporary blocks, and then four more sticky pistons just like so. Break out those two temporary blocks, put two more there and there, and then use these to position your four double piston extenders, just like so. Break out your temporary blocks, and then fill in the rest of your ceiling. There we go. Three dust, three dust, then go over here, get out a glass block, glass block there, dust, dust, block, dust, and then a four tick repeater running into a block, two blocks there, and then four dust. Go over to this side, dust, glass, dust, block with dust on it, and then a one tick repeater facing into a block. Go over here, block, block up, and then a two tick repeater. Then do the same over here, block, block up, and then a two tick repeater. Put a sticky piston there and there, both with blocks on their faces, and then put torches on those pistons. Get out your dust, put a block, block, block up, dust, and then a three tick repeater. Do the same thing on this side, block, block, block up, and then a dust three tick repeater. And believe it or not, that is your entire door completed. You can see it all closes, and when you flick it once more, it all opens. So yeah, that's just about it for this tutorial. Hope you all enjoy it. I hope that this is useful. I made this in my free time and thought that it was tutorial worthy. So here's the tutorial for it. Uh, I might be uploading some more tutorials on doors in the future. I've been working on some trap doors, so you might see those. But um, yeah, that's just about it for this video. I'm Viscoscomb24, and I'll see you next time.